you're all well today is wednesday the 8th of june i have just finished off the start of the week vlog and i thought i would start a new vlog i'm not sure how many days i'm going to do this over because there's not an awful lot happening over the next few days but i thought i would just do a wee vlog like a sort of end of week into weekend vlog if you like we'll just play it by ear and see how much i have her on and then i'll decide when to stop it at the moment it is five past nine, Brick is away to school, I have already put dinner in the slow cooker and I'll set, insert that clip for you in a wee minute. I just wanted to come on and start this vlog, I will now insert the clip of me getting dinner sorted and I will see you later on. Right, it is eight o'clock and I'm going to put dinner in the slow cooker. <laughs> going to give it lots of time to cook on low and uh, yes that's mince and no it's not for you. <laughs> Typical. I am just going to put 500 grams of less than 5% fat mince in, along with some mushrooms. I know it's not traditional to have mushrooms in chilli, but I would have mushrooms and everything, and I don't get enough veg in my diet. I'm going to chop up an orange pepper. I'm going to add in this sweet and crunchy sliced red onion. Yes, ready sliced, because it was cheaper to get two packets like this than a pack of three red onions to chop yourself and I'm lazy. And the slow cooker chilli con carne from Home Pride. We are going to put kidney beans in but we forgot to pick them up at Asda yesterday so Jack's going to nip out for them later on. So easy peasy dinner and I'll show you how I serve it later. Right that's it all in. Um, I know the sauce looks a bit weird but it's because it's concentrated so when the slow cooker generates steam it, um, what's the word, dilutes I suppose. The sauce and makes it runnier and it's lovely. It does say on the packet you're supposed to brown your mince first but I can't be bothered with that step and it tastes just as good without it so I just bung everything in. I'm just going to pop the lid on now and put it on low for eight hours. I'll give it a wee stir later on when I'm putting the kidney beans in. But that's it, dinner sorted. Yeah. Um, it's not that much later but I just wanted to come on and talk to you because I had a light bulb moment. Granny Annie has just been in to say goodbye because that's her going away for a week and a half now because of her birthday and things. And we were having a wee blether and I had a light bulb moment. We were talking about weight gain and weight loss and things. And I noticed last night when I took my socks off that I had massive big rings around my legs, which suggests water retention. Um, like being swollen and the last the only times I've ever had that before were when I was pregnant which I'm not and when I was ill the first time and in my bed and I piled on the weight and I was chatting away and thought what is there a common factor and then I thought to myself wait a minute I was on amitriptyline back then I'm on amitriptyline now and the weight's been piling on since I started it. And Granny Annie is on amitriptyline and her weight's been going up and up and up. And the other thing that I've noticed since I got out of hospital is I'm hungry all the time. I can't do my intermittent fasting. I'm just wanting to eat all the time. So I had a little look online. And lo and behold, amitriptyline causes hunger and weight gain. So I now know the reason why I'm eating junk all the time and the reason why I look so bad. Obviously, I have gained weight, I've gained fat as well, but a lot of it's water retention and I'm so greedy because the amitriptyline's making me hungry. Ha! <sighs> Hallelujah! You know that way that you think, maybe I'm not such a failure after all? Last week, I got my new headache tablet, the Candesartan, increased to 8 milligrams. And so that's a week I've been on it. So next week I need to go and get my blood pressure checked and my blood checked again. And if that's all okay, I can get that increased again. So I'm going to talk to the doctor at the same time about coming off the amitriptyline, 
hopefully the new tablet being increased will be enough to get my headache under control because I'm not meant to be on it long term anyway, it's just basically a fix until we get my headache meds sorted out. So hopefully when I start coming off that, I'll find it much easier to lose the weight again and I won't be so greedy and hungry all the time. You know that way that I feel so much lighter, obviously not physically, but mentally, because I was really having a go at myself about, you know, why are you suddenly eating so much? Why have you got no self-control? And why are you so fat? You know, every time I've been looking at myself in the camera, I've been thinking, look at your face. Now we know. Anyway, I'm going to go now, but I just wanted to come on and let you know that I had that little <coughs> moment and I'm feeling a lot more positive now that I'm going to put a plan, in, a plan in place, a plan in place to get the amitriptyline decreased. You can't just come off it, so it would take a few weeks to um, come off it, but hopefully then I'll be able to start getting back to normal size. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> look at quite stump. Yes. So you're looking forward to the game tonight? Yeah. Excellent. Look what she Abby got so Granny Annie for her birthday. She'll love that. Anyway, told you it's not for me, it's for Sherlock. Yeah, so she'll, she'll definitely like love that. Yeah, okay. Look at the card that she got her. Happy birthday, Oldie. <laughs> the other thing's still coming. You what? The other thing's still coming. All right. Did you not get Grandad a mug like that? Uh, yeah, for Baldy. Christmas. Baldy. <laughs> Very good. Right, I'm not fancying any rice with my dinner. I'm not feeling great, so I've got some of the slow cooked chilli there with a sprinkling of cheese, some sour cream, and that's a garlic flatbread with it as well. So I'm going to go and tuck into this. Good morning, everyone. It's now Thursday morning, about 8 o'clock. Brooks away to school. And I just wanted to come on and say hello because I didn't vlog very much yesterday. I really wasn't feeling great. I spent a lot of time in my bed feeling sick. Probably junk food detox <laughs> because I'm trying to be good again. Uh, so yeah, I really didn't do an awful lot worth vlogging yesterday. Jack and Abby went to the Scotland football game. Um, Abby, as you might know, loves football, loves everything Celtic, but because she loves Celtic so much, she's got into football in general, and she has been desperate to go to Hamden to see a proper Scotland game. But the tickets are like gold dust. It's really, really hard to get tickets. So when Jack noticed the other night that there were still tickets available for Scotland via Armenia, he jumped on them. So they went last night, and Jack said it was okay, we, you know, we won. He's not a big fan of Hamden, the whole stress of getting there, parking, getting away again, it's just so busy and just it's got no atmosphere compared to Celtic Park. And um, he said as well that the actual style of football they were playing he's not keen on because Celtic play really fast, rapid attacking football and Steve Clark, the Scotland manager, prefers a more sort of laid-back defensive method. He said it was a bit slow and just wasn't great, but I don't know what Abby thought of it because it was really hard that he was going for. So I'll find out when she surfaces. Hello, Clyde. Because they didn't get until about midnight last night. That's really all that's been happening, not an awful lot. It tipped it down with rain yesterday, the whole day, after being so nice on Oh, whatever day it was, I'm completely lost by my days. Tuesday, I think, when my mum and dad were over and we were sitting out on the terrace, it tipped down through the night and that was it the rest of the day. Anyway, I'm havering again. I've not got much planned for today. Please excuse the greasy hair. It's not even washed, but I really didn't have the energy this morning, so I thought, nah, we're all friends. I'm not going anywhere. I'm hopefully going to get some diamond painting done today because I've not done any at all since we came back the weekend and I want to get that wee one finished. And other than that, all I've got planned is another slow cooker meal. I had the chilli last night. It was nice. The mints had really clumped together though for some reason. I don't know if it was because it was a less than 5% fat mints, but it was like really lumpy. Uh, whereas when I did it before, it was a proper chilli consistency so I'm not sure 
Um, but today's one is a chicken dish, so I like to do that for four hours on high in the slow cooker because I find chicken that's done for eight hours on low in the slow cooker goes a bit dry. Does anybody else feel like that or is it just me? So at lunchtime I'll show you what I'm making, it's dead easy. <laughs> of course it is, it's me that's making it. And yeah, that's us, that's all I've got planned at the moment. I will nip on and talk to you as and when anything pops into my mind to see. <laughs> no spider this time. <laughs> Abby came through earlier on and she was talking to me and I could just see a spider crawling right along her hood. It was huge. So she panicked and flicked it and it landed on me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, tell us about the game last night. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was good. Good. Um, Hamden's such a weird stadium, but it wasn't bad. And I saw Will before it as well. I met up with Will. Oh, cool. Um, we had pretty good seats, I'll show you. I take it, Dad was saying that the atmosphere is nowhere like Celtic the Park. See, because I'm so used to going to Celtic Park all the time, and mm -hmm. that's the games I've traditionally been to, it was strange. It was 38,000 right. there. So, like, it wasn't like Scotland games years ago when they couldn't even fill half the stadium. Mm -hmm. And obviously it was against Armenia, so it was a good game. But we have no final third, honest to God. And see, because I'm so used to watching Ange Ball, mm -hmm. It's like, it looks like, you know, still game that episode, Walking Football? Yeah. It looks like that because you're so used to seeing... Aye, fast and furious. Mm -hmm. Fast pacing games. They never stop. But, nice. <laughs> it finished 2-0, didn't it? Yeah, where we just hold on to the ball too much. It was 3, there was 1 literally at a half time on the 45th minute mark, but VR said it was offside. Ah, right, okay. But I didn't mind because I had my pie. <laughs> yeah, tell me about the pie, what was it? So... I've heard about it. There was rumours that it was about and I was like, oh my god, yes, please. But every time I've been at Celtic Park, it's not been there. So I'm like, Ugh, I'm just chatting balls. But Hampton had it. It was a kebab meat pie. Kebab meat pie. So was it like a scotch pie? Yeah. But kebab meat inside it? Yeah. So it's a pie. Ooh. But I should have taken a picture was of Was it Donner kebab? It or? Donner kebab inside. Ooh. And you know what I'm like... Did it have like a gravy or anything it had, as well? It had a bit of kebab sauce ah. in it, but not too much, because you know what I Yeah, you don't like. like it. But it was so good, Mum. Mm. Honestly. So you're heading into Glasgow? Yes, I am. Good, good. Look at the state of Abby's hands. She's gone a wee bit OTT with the fake tan. Mm -hmm. Just a bit. <laughs> Dad was embarrassed to be seen with you last night, wasn't he? <laughs> right, it's 5 to 12, I'm just going to put dinner into the slow cooker now. We're going to try the home pride white wine cooking sauce. I've not tried that before and definitely not tried it in the slow cooker. So it's another experiment. And I'm just going to chop up a couple of chicken breasts. Add this pack of ready chopped onion and a whole load of mushrooms in with the sauce, all in the slow cooker and just let it go on high for four hours. I will stir it now and again, and for the last half hour or so, I'll add in some pasta to it, because we did that before we cooked the pasta in the slow cooker with everything else, and it was really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna try that again. There we go. So I just layer everything up, I put in all the veg, then the meat, and then the sauce on top, and switch it on, and that way the sauce seeps down into everything and everything gets coated, but I will give it a I stir a couple of times, so I'm just going to put that on high for four hours. I'm not going to put a tea towel under the lid because we want it to be relatively watery so we can add the pasta to it later. Right, so it's half past three, it's got half an hour to go. I've just given it a good stir and it smells delicious. I'm just going to put a couple of handfuls of the fusilli pasta in with it, put the lid back on and then just keep an eye on it and see when it's ready. But the last time we did it that way, it was really good because the pasta didn't go soggy. It was nice and al dente. So, yeah, that's the plan. Right, that's the pasta all stirred through it. And I'm going to leave it on high for about half an hour. And look at all this washing. <laughs> when we came back from Canuck on Sunday night, we were exhausted and we just wanted to unpack the bare minimum. So we left a lot of stuff in the caravan and Jack went along there and brought back all the stuff so all the dishes and stuff that we used are in the dishwasher just now and wash it, all that washing still has to be done, he's put a load on but got a whole load still to do but it's fine, there's no hurry, we're not going to be back in the caravan I think it's going to be Mull 
at the end of September before we're back in the caravan. I don't think we've got any planned trips away because um, we'll, we'll not get any holidays planned this year because Abby's going to be 18. So, yeah, I'll be doing something nice for that, but not in the caravan. <laughs> and there is the pasta. So it's chicken and a white wine sauce or something. And just had another one of the garlic flatbreads that I had with the chilli yesterday. Good morning and happy Friday, everyone. It's about eight o'clock in the morning, Brooks away to school. I have been up, showered and done all the usual morning routine. And I'm getting ready to go out shortly. We are going to take Abby to work and then get a few things from Morrison's. Then I'm going to go and get my eyes tested. <laughs> I've been meaning to do it for ages, but it's one of those things that you keep putting off, isn't it? Um, I noticed that I was struggling, especially when I was calorie counting, to see to read the labels on food and things. And now when I'm sending texts or replying to messages, or especially when I'm doing my diamond painting, I'm like, oh, can't see what that is. <laughs> Everything's a little bit blurry. So yes, I think age is catching up with my eyes. So I better go get them checked. I'm going to spec savers for that. Um, hopefully, I think it will be an NHS test that I get because it says that if you're an adult between... Oh, I don't know, a certain age, which I am, and you've not had your eyes tested for two years, I think it's about seven years since I last had mine done, then you qualify for an NHS um, test. But I'm also going to get the extra test that they offer. I can't remember what they call it. It's £10, but it gives them a 3D view of your eyes or something. I don't know. I thought if I'm there anyway, I'm as well just getting it done. Apparently it can... Um, detect things like glaucoma up to four years earlier than not doing it so I thought why not so yesterday was quite quiet didn't do much I have almost finished my Santa Reef the diamond painting one oh I'm almost there hopefully I'll get that finished today yeah you saw that I had the bits and pieces to do for the the stuff from the caravan the washing and the dishwasher and stuff that's all pretty much done now and when I was having dinner with Jack, we watched another two episodes of Stranger Things. So that is us now. We've just finished episode four and oh, it's getting good. They've been really clever with it, this series. And I think their effects and everything are really good. And it's more sort of um, a thriller, I would say. More sort of spooky than sci-fi like it has been before. And yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Let me know in the comments below if you're watching it and you've enjoyed it. Brooke has already finished up to um, episode 7. I think there's only 7 episodes in this part. And then next month or the month after, they're releasing the, the second part. And I think she's almost finished watching it twice now. She loves it. So, yeah, that's what we were doing last night and an early night, as always. And talking about diamond painting, I've just had an email from another company asking if I would like to work with them. Now, I always check their website before I agree or disagree because you get some right chancers getting in touch when you're a YouTuber. And a lot of them, you're like, no, wouldn't touch you with a barge pole. So I always check to make sure that they look reputable and it looks like something that I would enjoy and something that my viewers would enjoy. And this site looks really good. They've got lots of diamond painting and cross stitch and things like that. So I just need to sit and choose what product I want. And then once it comes through, I'll show you. So yes, that's where we're at <coughs> at the moment. And I will come back and talk to you. Oh, the other thing that happened yesterday was Jack was on Facebook and noticed that there's a Comic-Con on on this weekend at Loch Lomond Shores and the tickets are free. So I've got a ticket for me, Brooke and one of our friends and we'll probably go on Sunday, I think. And yeah, that would be really good. I don't know whether Brooke's getting dressed up, but I might wind her up and tell her I'm getting dressed up just for a lap. <laughs> so that will be a separate vlog for you. And then I think I'll probably do a weekly vlog Monday to Friday after that. So I'm going to head off now and I will come back to you later on. I'll let you know how I get on at the opticians. <laughs> and the test on that doesn't bother me. It's the thought of how much it's going to cost for glasses because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need them. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, what are the puppies waiting for?
Here you go. <laughs> well, good afternoon. I'm back. Got the few bits that I needed out of Morrison's. I went to the opticians and I was about 15 minutes early but I got taken straight away. The service was really good. Really, really good. And I got drops put in my eyes because I've been having the headaches and because I, I'm seeing double at certain points. They put drops in my eyes just to double check if everything was okay. And I think I said that I'd paid the extra £10 to get the OCT test. That was quite bizarre, but I saw the scans that it created and it's amazing. I mean, it actually shows a 3D version of your eye. And it was happy with both of them. They both looked perfect, which was good. So my eye health is fine. It said basically it's just the muscles in my eyes that are getting a bit weak. And that's why I'm struggling to focus. So I have got glasses for close-up reading. And it was quite good, actually. I remember I said I thought it had been about seven years since I had my eyes tested. <laughs> Double it. My last eye test at Specsavers was 2008, and that's the only place I ever went. <laughs> 14 years ago. How shocking is that? So, yeah, he said, there's not really a surprise that you're needing glasses now. Um, but because it had been so long, I was you get a free NHI test every two years. So I was due a free eye test, or two, or three. Um, plus, because of my disability benefits, I get NHS help towards the actual glasses. So it worked out, I'm getting two pairs of glasses because it was buy one, get one free. They were £69 each. But because of the NHS voucher, I'm getting the two pairs plus the £10 for the OCT, a total of £27. That was including the £10 for the OCT, which I think is amazing, really good. Um, I don't really suit them, but it was the best, that, best of a bad bunch, if you like. <laughs> I just don't look right with glasses on, especially not having teeth. But the other good thing that they did was the any glasses that were tried on were put to the side to be sanitised before going back on the shelf again. So, yeah, so that's what we're up to. But because I got the drops in my eyes, I am seeing double. Everything's blurry. So I don't think I'll get much diamond painting done this afternoon. I think it'll just be a bit of telly watching. But, yeah, so other than that, Nothing happening. I shall come back on to you Abby later. has arrived home from work. Buzzing with the news. What's the news? Cameron Carter Vickers has signed a four-year deal. Yay! And the last of my, her grand, my mum's, birthday presents of the day blue. How long ago was that, Abby? Uh, I think it was... Was it Alton Towers? It was at Fogg, Was it CB was last? Mm -hmm. But it was a time where... Um, in the Splash Hamlet Hotel for two nights. In the what? And then they Which hotel? Oh, Splash Hamlet. And then they booked an extra night in the Open Towers Hotel. Ah, right. Spoiled as usual. <laughs> it's a great uh, photo and she will absolutely love that gift. Well, good evening. It is now quarter past seven and I'm heading to my bed. I've got my big, my big fluffy snoody on. So yeah, ready to go to my bed. I know it's early, but you know what I'm like. Um, I've not done much this afternoon. I've just watched a bit of telly. Me and Jack have started watching Breaking Bad. Yes, we're very late to that party. But hey-ho, <laughs> we just never got round to watching it before. And it came up on Netflix and we thought, oh, we'll give it a go. And yeah, we're enjoying it now. We're on season two. Anyway, um, I can see again my eyes aren't too blurry, so hopefully I'll be able to reply to some of your comments as well. Um, but I wanted to just end this vlog just now. I will be vlogging on Sunday when I take Brooke to the Comic Con at Loch Lomond. Um, so yeah, I will put that video up on Thursday and then I'll start a weekly vlog from Monday to put up the following Monday. So I'm determined that I'm going to carry on uploading on a Monday and a Thursday. I hope that's okay with you all. Um, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, I'm getting my glasses on the 21st of June, so I'll be sure to show you when I get them. And yeah, I think that's it. That's all our news. Um, yeah, nothing more to say. So I'm going to end this here. I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to me in the comments below and I'll see you in our next one. Thanks everyone. Bye! Thank you.